New developments in a textbook fight that's been brewing really for several months now. Houstonians are headed to the state capitol to push state education leaders to reject a, bush, a book rather that they call racist. Our Kathy Hernandez is on the east side where protesters are getting ready to board the bus. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. The group of about 100 people will leave any minute now to the state capitol to protest against this proposed textbook they say teaches discrimination. Now let's talk to Tony Diaz, one of the organizers. I know the publisher has made some changes. Talk to us about that. Well, it seems from the, about the 200 changes they've made, they focused on the errors that our scholars pointed out. And I want to make something clear. Our scholars pointed out over 50 pages of errors, but they stopped there because they got tired and ran out of time. There's actually more, but we can tell that these non-experts who are writing this book are just going off the trail we left, but there's even more that we're going to reveal today in Austin. And what exactly in the proposed textbook are you concerned about? Well, I mean, besides the very blatant racist remarks that you could tell earlier on, there's a more subtle approach that is divisive, that dismisses our community, and is just plain wrong. And I think we can't sabotage our education system by letting a book this badly written into the system. What do you hope happens here, and what do you hope the State Board of Education decides? You know what I'd love to see? This week, we could mark a new Texas where we're... The Democrats and Republicans are going to unite to get the best, best textbooks for our kids. I'd love to see the Texas State Board of Education vote this book down and open up the call for culturally relevant books, Proclamation 2019, which includes Mexican American, African American, Asian American, and Native American textbooks. Tony, good luck to you. Thank we'll you so be much. following your journey. Thank Obviously, you. they're going to leave in the next few minutes. A rally starts in Austin at 9:30 this morning, and then the official vote will be on Friday. Reporting live in East End, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC Channel. Two news.